so you want a cheap arcade one-up with the Donkey Kong theme that plays a few thousand games? Hi, I'm Matt from Retro Reviews, and today we're going to build this thing. First things first, we start with the clearance arcade 1UP cabinet. In this case, we have a $70 Asteroids cab. Go ahead, assemble it, and tape it off. The cleaner your tape, the cleaner the edges on your paint job. I used a bunch of paint I already had sitting in my garage. I had just enough black to do a single base coat. then a few coats of white to make the top coat pop, and finally, the color coat of blue. Here I was really disappointed when I started spraying this blue paint, since the paint was sprayed in a very small spot, instead of a large fan like the other two colors. It was spotty and hard to get good coverage, but I did the best I could with what I had. You might notice I only do one side of the cabinet since I'm trying to save money and no one will see the other side anyway. Next we install the LCD controller board. I tried to save some money by getting one from Ally Express. Guess what? It didn't work. So I finally got one from Amazon. Link is below. Make sure you use the supplied screw in the correct place for a ground and mount the circuit board on the particle board, not the monitor case. For our first test, I have a Raspberry Pi with whichever image is in there right now, but I eventually got the wolf nose image created specifically for this size and aspect ratio monitor in the arcade 1UP cabinets. Once we get to the woodwork, start by stripping down the control panel. I have a lot of spare wood that I've collected from broken things my neighbors throw out, so here I used an old footboard from a bed frame. Unfortunately, right before shooting this video, my jigsaw bit the dust, so I ended up using my circular saw and chop saw for all my cuts. Here, I made sure the wood I cut and the graphics I made all line up. I use a screwdriver with a mallet to punch pilot holes before following up with a drill press. Later, I'll add plexiglass and drill holes through the wood into the plexiglass as well. Here's a trick that I figured out building my last arcade cabinet. This is a countersink bit. Drilling gently into the plexiglass but not cutting all the way through allows you to create a divot, a kind of a bowl. This will allow the head of the screw or bolt to sit down into it instead of sticking up out of it. Sandwich everything together and wire it up to the zero delay USB encoder. This will take your button pushes to the Raspberry Pi through USB. Here's what the final product looks like. I took a lot of the original artwork, making modifications along the way, had to put a shout out to my channel, and a custom controller pad with my son's favorite characters on it. So you can build this yourself pretty cheap with 
a little bit of woodworking skills and some spare parts. Now, I already had a Raspberry Pi, a spare set of buttons, some wood, some plexiglass, these computer speakers. The graphics cost me about $40 from Staples Print Center, and I had some spray paint in the garage. If you don't care about the graphics, you have enough spare parts, you could do this practically for free. You can make it as good as you want it to be. It just depends on your time, your skills, and the money you're willing to spend. There are some companies that make amazing graphic sets to cover this entire arcade one up, but frankly, they're about twice the price of what I paid for the entire cabinet. So let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys watching, and I got a couple more videos coming up pretty soon here, so stay tuned. Thanks a lot.